listeners so learners deck gives a warm welcome to all of you and we'll move forward and see how other options within google forms works so we'll start by using a new google form a blank form the very first thing that i'll be doing here is i'll change the name of the form and i'll keep it as survey the question that we'll be asking to all of you is most favorable device it's a general question and see the answer option in the previous video we selected was either a likert scale a short answer or a paragraph in this video we'll be discussing in detail multiple choice question check boxes drop down and and we'll see or explore how these three options works differently so the very first thing we'll be doing is multiple choice multiple choice as in a in my previous video this i discussed that it is basically a radio button option and the property of a radio button is that you cannot select multiple options at single instance like for example option 1 and option 2 or option 3 cannot be selected for the same answer so for for one question you can only select one answer most favorable device and the very first one is is smartphones second tablet third is pc just in case you guys are focusing on the suggestions from google docs you need to keep in mind that google docs uses ai technology which actually allows google docs to provide different suggestions opinions or comments in regards to the text that you have typed so what i have written here is most favorable device and google docs thinks that it is somewhat similar to the sizes of a t-shirt or a sizes of a garment so it's actually giving me different options that these are three different suggestions these can be used as options within the question for example you can use an option which is add all the other option is excel and the third one is double excel this is important to note that as we have selected a multiple choice option and it will not allow you or the recipient to select multiple answers so the option that can be included in case there are two or more answers which is uh, add all so once you write an option which says all and the recipient selects this option it will mean that all the three options that is smph smartphones tablet and pc all are favorable devices i hope it's uh, it sounds logical <laughs> there is no limit to adding the answers but uh, according to a standardized size there should be minimum 3 and maximum 5 answers in case you would like this uh, question to be required a mandatory question so you can click here and make it a mandatory question as well you can see or change the description you can shuffle the option order for example if multiple users are providing answers to this question each time the user will see these options in different order the first one here on your screen is a smartphone and maybe the second person will be seeing tablet as a first option this is good and logical when multiple users are using this google forms within the same room or within the same premises so that's all from multiple choice let's move forward and go to this check box option check box option we'll just change the type of the options that we are providing so you can see that now it's all coming as check boxes check boxes actually allows you to select multiple options multiple answers so you don't have to put an option which is all and instead of all you'll put a different option which means that uh, you can write here xbox so these are all different options and in case all these are answers of your question and a smartphone tablet pc and xbox the viewer or the providing recipient will 
check all these options you can always change the sequence by using this grid the six liner grid and you can add or delete options as per your requirement with these options you are also allowed to add images so you can add the image of a smartphone an xbox tablet or pc with these options the third one within this section is a drop down menu so all these options are actually available but uh, it will be seen in the preview screen as a drop down let's see how most favorable device you have to choose from a drop down menu and you can see that it is a required question and without giving answer to this question the form will never be submitted once you will click on this drop down all the available options will be here so these were the three options we have explored within this video uh, i'm pretty much sure that uh, this is very much helpful so please use it within your daily routine and use it in different routines purpose and let us know your feedback in regards to this video and the use of this particular form section stay tuned and do subscribe our youtube channel which is learners deck